Wow, what what a seven weeks this has been. This has been a crazy seven weeks. We have been on this work dock and you see evidence of the fact that we've been here for seven weeks. Lots of green evidence. I tell you, it's, it's got to be the most beautiful industrial work dock in the world, top 10. Oh, for sure. Although we're very, we're going to be very happy to leave. We are at the work dock because we bought a charter boat and a charter boat is really stripped down. And so for the plans that we have, which is to circumnavigate and to do blue water sailing, we had to make some upgrades. So FKG was the first stop in the upgrade chain. Well, actually St. Lucia, we had some upgrades there, but here is where we this is where 90% of it is being done. We hired FKG to complete seven projects for us. We're going to share with you in this video just a brief overview of what those seven projects were. And uh, then later on, we'll go into more detail. The reason why we're here is through extensive research that I've done. We've had upgrades quoted with very reputable organizations in Grenada, just catamarans. They're located in Fort Lauderdale. And we picked our boat up in St. Lucia, so logistically uh, St. Martin makes sense because we can enjoy coming up during the winter time, which is the best time in the Caribbean. We could have done it any place, but there are reasons why we ended up here. St. Martin had the right mix as far as the right fabricators, the right electricians, uh, the right equipment suppliers in order to kind of put it all together. FKG is great for a lot of reasons. FKG's been in business for like 25 years and they work on super yachts. They are basically can fabricate anything and we have lots of that type of fabrication to be done on our boat, so that's really important. Customization is essential on the boat because no boats are alike. Also, FKG is right in the middle of two chandleries, so you can get anything for a boat. And then the fact that all those resources are there and they're reasonably priced is a real plus. Okay, so those are the reasons we chose FKG. Here are the seven things they've been working on. They have created a solar arch for our boat and installed our solar panels. Created a tank and life raft fabrication for the back of our boat. Installed the rigging for a parasail. They have created a footrest for the helm seat. Repaired and adjusted our davit system. They have repaired our gooseneck and they have changed out our anchor bridle and they're doing some other work on our anchor. So these seven projects they have been working on and we're just gonna go into some basic details now and later follow up with videos related to each one of these improvements that they've made. Yeah, and I just wanna tell you guys right now, if you appreciate these types of videos, um, they're meant to entertain, but also to inform. Hopefully this is gonna save you money and help you plan better. If you really appreciate that, hit that subscribe button, hit it hard, hit that like button, and make sure you share and comment on this. All right, why don't you start talking a little bit about the solar arch and solar panels. Solar power, renewable energy. You hear about it all the time. We're totally off grid now. And the ability to be able to produce your own power without having to run a generator or crank a diesel engine or plug into shore power where it's expensive is incredible. The freedom that you have to be able to be in remote locations for extended periods. That's why we're doing what we're doing. And also it's clean energy. And over a long period of time, longer period of time, it will pay for itself. But it's also, there are no moving parts. It's very stable. So mechanically, Solar, it makes a whole lot of sense also because you don't have all the maintenance issues that you have with generators and, uh, and alternators and diesel engines. 
Yeah, so let me talk a little bit about the tank and life raft fabrication. We had this fabricated because we are scuba divers and we want to be able to dive and have easy access to our tanks. So we uh, wanted to put them at the stern of the boat so that we could use them whenever we wanted to. Well, let me tell you, it's really important because our love for the water and travel and adventure. And one thing that we love, every single vacation that we take is going scuba diving. We're like, this is what we need to make our life about. So we now have it on the back of the boat. We can do it wherever we're at, whenever we want to. It just makes perfect sense. Yes. The other great piece that they amalgamated into the same work of art, and it really is a work of art, is the place for our life raft. And we needed our life raft to be put on the back of the boat in, in an easy to reach location for safety reasons. First of all, it was inside a, a locker that was impossible to get into and was very difficult to lift out. The Plus it was taking a lot of space. And for storage reasons, Valuable the life raft space. probably weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds? Oh, I'd say least, it's, yeah, 150. 150 uh, pounds. And so it's awkward too. It's, it's like big. really big and... You have to be able to access your life raft and put it in the water in 30 seconds or less. That's what they say in the safety manuals. There's no way we could have gotten it out in under 30 seconds. And even worse, if something happened to Brown, I don't know if I could have lifted it out myself. So now it is on the back of the boat and can easily be just pushed out either by hand or by foot into the water, which is great. Why don't you talk about the parasail rigging? Probably very few of you know about a parasail. This is a downwind sail, and it's a hybrid, high-tech downwind sail. And we had to have new rigging uh, put on the boat. So we had to have two new winches and also two blocks, one on each side, because of its unique position Catching the wind that's from behind you. Well, a lot of the sailing that we're gonna be doing mm -hmm. are the ancient trade winds. And those were down wind routes that have been used for thousands of years. And uh, this downwind sail and the rigging that we've put in is gonna allow us to sail those areas and not have to run our engine. Okay, another project that we have been working on is the helm seat footrest. And that actually is a product of seeing our friends' boats and seeing their helm footrest and really loving it. So that was an easy install, easy fabrication, uh, but that is another new, new piece on our boat. The next one we're going to talk about is the davit repair and adjustment, and we really needed to repair our davit for a number of reasons, but the main one was... Oh! oh okay, okay. Massive banging. So a davit is, is a pulley system with Dyneema connected to a winch, electric winch, and this enables you to lower and raise your dinghy. So you want to bring it up every single day. They changed out the bolts and then we also bought new Dyneema, stronger Dyneema that uh, is used to lift the dinghy. And now there's no bang, which is wonderful. We also needed to adjust where the bridle sat to pick up the dinghy because our dinghy is actually a lot bigger than the dinghy that they provide for charter. And we didn't have a dinghy when we bought our boat. It didn't come with it. So we had the privilege of buying our own, but we did buy a very big dinghy and therefore the placement of the, the D-rings on the Davit system, they were too close. So we have had to move them and create a new bridle that fits uh, the dinghy so that it sits above our tanks and sits above our life raft. Those two adjustments had to also be made. Let me tell you about another project, a really important one for our safety, and that is our gooseneck repair. And the gooseneck is where the mast connects to the boom, and that mo the motion of the boom going up and down because we do not have a fixed vang. We have a compression vang, which means that it's just a tube that goes up and down. Is that a thang or a vang? Yeah. <laughs>
A bang bang. Because of that, during the motion of sailing, the boom had worn away the pivot hole in the gooseneck. Not good. So we had the fabricators come in and design uh, a way to stop the continued wear on that. So um, that is uh, all fixed now. Do you want to finish by talking about the anchor and the anchor board? We're going to talk about the most important thing on yeah. the boat. Yeah. Yeah, the key to sleeping at night. We bought this boat not to stay in marinas. We bought this boat to stay at anchor. Well, the only way you can do that is to have a good anchor. And a good anchor chain. FKG actually had to change the whole system except for the chain. But there's also a swivel at the end of the chain. The reason why we're having to change the swivel is the last one. It's bent. And so now we have a new Mantis swivel, and it is attached to an M1 Mantis anchor. They changed our anchor, anchor bridle as well, and they are also cutting the end of the chain, which currently is connected to the boat, which is not a good thing. We need a better end so that we can, in an emergency, drop our anchor. So those are some of the changes to the anchor and the anchor system. We want to say a huge thank you to FKG. After seven weeks, they feel like family to us. Uh, they've been absolutely amazing to work with, and we can't say enough good things about them. Yeah, not only do they have, can they do just about anything when it comes to fabrication, but they're great to work with. The individuals that they hire, it's reflective of the owners of the company. And listen, when you've been here for seven weeks, living on your boat, people on and off, working on it, that's really important that people are good also. Yeah, they've been wonderful. They have great sense of humor. They're really respectful of our space. They're kind, they listen really well, yeah. they ask our opinion about things all the time. They give suggestions, mm -hmm. like volunteer things, because they've seen just about anything. Yeah, we've been really impressed with them, and we're, we're going to be sad to say goodbye yeah. uh, in one sense, happy, glad very also. happy in another. So we're really thankful for the work that they've done, and like I said, we'll have more detailed video in the in the future. I really hope that this uh, helps you all. And we're running out of daylight. Yeah, we're running out of daylight. <laughs> Got this beautiful sunset that we need to watch. We need to show you that beautiful oh, sunset yeah. as well. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you again soon. We love you guys. Until next time.